I thought I'd also just remind you before we get going with this, again, if we were doing this in the real world, a graphic would be up on the wall and it would be about this big, give you an idea physically of what this looks like. In case you haven't seen a graphic, and actually I'm sure you have, but, um, and it's, pro it's gonna be pens and color and it's gonna be on paper. I thought maybe the first thing we should do, I'm just gonna ask Elliot to outline the steps of the path. So in case you've never encountered the path um, at all, the path process, it's basically a number of big containers and we're gonna fill the containers up and we have no idea what's gonna come out of this. We haven't asked, been asked to put any special ideas across to yourselves, it will purely come from you. So we're gonna start off and look at where we wanna, where we see ourselves in the future, the dream. What's the dream world look like for you guys? Where we wanna be in an ideal future? What do we see for our team? What is the, uh, what is the ideal team look like or the ideal future for our team look like? It's really important that you start with a vision. It's about sort of hope and expectancy for the future. And in that, we're going to capture some of the sort of more meaningful, uh, deeper underlying themes that come out and put them in these boxes here, these value bricks. What I'm really listening out for is like core messages, or core values. I'll put them in the building blocks down there at the bottom. So we're going to yeah look really far ahead in the future. And there's no limits to that one. We can go anywhere we want. The next step will be one year from now. So it's going to be a bit more realistic, a bit more achievable. So what's positive and what's possible in one year? And it's like, it's about sensing the goals. That is where you're really, um, like you're looking to your dream and you're looking to your ideal future. And this is the section where it kind of gets real. So it will be the 11th of January, 2022. So where can we actually realistically get to by then? So we're going to set about five goals there. And this is the stage of a path where there'd sort of been some negotiation within the team, probably, while you kind of weigh up, like, is, is it check, checking, really, and weighing up, is this positive? And essentially, is it possible? Then we're going to go to now. So where are we right now? What's happening? All the information, the good, the bad and the ugly. What's the situation? And that's the only time in a path where, they, where it's possible that there's sort of like positive and negatives. We're going to get all of that done. Then we're going to talk about who do we need. So we're going to maybe sign up for this um, this plan going forward. If you are you're drawn to it, if you want to sign up for it, we're going to put our names down here. And we're going to put the names of the people who we think would be necessary to get us to our goals. So really just checking everyone, everyone here um, is kind of signing up to this path. But also there may be some people who aren't here you know, would want to be part of this path or who need to be part of this path. And then we're going to look at staying strong. So what can we do as a team to make sure we stay on course or on track towards our goals that we've set? Um, these are kind of ideas or um, plans that, that we can think of. So it's what as a team, so as a psychology service, do you need to help you keep strong in order to get to those goals, those positive and possible goals? but not necessarily actions. So these actions are who's going to do what today, tomorrow, this week, who's going to do what by when. Very specific, very strict actions. And uh, so it's accountable and there's something for you guys to take away from today and actually start to get the ball rolling towards our, our dream future. Okay, and they're sort of like immediate next steps. Really accountable, solid actions. We're not going to let you get away with sort of saying, oh, I think someone else should be doing this. This is going to be really strict. And that's the main sort of takeaway part of the of the path process. So that's probably the most important bit. Um, and at the end of it, you'll have a completed path. Um, and you can create T-shirts. You can have, have it on your mugs, have it on your screensavers, have it emblazoned across the wall. Do whatever, whatever you wish with the, 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 the finished piece.